Hey guys, Shant with CK Brick Collection. Welcome to my channel. And if it's your first time here, please make sure to subscribe so you get the notifications of whenever um, we upload videos. Today we are going to crack into this box. It's a whole bunch of minifigure parts from the California Legoland. Actually, my daughter. This is a problem we're having here. My daughter is actually opening some of our boxes because she's just excited. And she cracks into open, you know, whatever I just said. If it... This is actually my setup for um, the eBay pictures and uh, eBay listing. But since I already have it taped to the table, it's already there. I guess we'll use it to look through these uh, minifigures and these cups. Actually, one of these cups was actually open. What is this? Just a Lego magazine? I think my daughter would like to look through these. Oh, there's a couple of games. Okay, comic book. Huh. Okay, I'll give this to my daughter. And... Alright, let's, so what I'm going to do is, I guess I'll just dump these all on the table. Okay. So I guess the best thing to do right now is to separate the heads, the torsos, and um, separate everything. And kind of make a pile of each. And then we'll look into what we got. Okay, I just finished uh, sorting the parts. And I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I actually got a total of... Uh, we had done the math earlier, we had said 90 per order, and I had 4 orders. Uh, it should have been a total of 360 at least, right? Combining the torso, the legs, the headgear, the heads, and the accessories. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised actually with 3 capes. Capes are always, they always come in handy. Especially for Star Wars minifigures, if someone wants to complete them, I got brand new uh, capes. I think those will come in pretty handy. I'm happy about that. So yeah, actually, uh, I we got a total of 412. If you were to comp combine the torsos, the legs, well, including uh, skirts, I guess, uh, headgear and all of that, um, it actually exceeded the number I had ordered, which was supposed to be 360. So, I was pleasantly surprised with that. Uh, as far as the torso, surprisingly... Well, I, I'm still pretty bad at identifying any of these. I mean, you could tell that's at least that's Santa Claus. That's kind of obvious. And the I Love Legoland one. But that's <laughs> almost as far as I go. I, uh, I'm sure I could find some of these. I'm going to use the Figure, out, figure It Out uh, software, which is absolutely excellent for the ones that I don't know and for the headgear there's a lot of basic hair headgear but there's also uh what's that character's name from Harry Potter I think that's his uh, headgear with the beard uh and then that's from Lego Movie 2 uh, Mayhem uh the bunny ears are cool caps turbans and for the accessories, let's go over here. We got these fairy wings. We have a whole bunch of uh, uh, brooms, trophies, the teddies, teddy bears, different colors. I think that looks like a. I, I don't want to. I don't want to assume I could be wrong. Uh, and the shields. There's the pie. And for the heads, oh, I kind of creating a shadow over here. Let's go over here. There's the skeleton heads right there. There are some hidden side heads on the other end. Let's see if I go over here. Hopefully, we don't create a shadow. Right there, I don't recognize some of them. That looks like Ninjago. It looks like a snake head. I could be wrong though. Yeah. 
just that's my baby back there in the background if you hear some baby noises hockey sticks handcuffs bats weapons axes bottles I think the bottles hold some value, if I'm not mistaken, I'd have to double check. Katanas. Yeah, that's pretty much... That's pretty much the bulk of what we got. Uh, now I'm gonna have to identify everything and... You know, price them right and upload them to Bricklink. And I'll give you guys a summary of what we got. Actually, also for the Lego parts, uh, I'm also kind of happy. When I saw the loose parts, I thought to myself, "Ooh, I don't want to, you know, I, I'm not interested in putting four. If I have a part and there's only four of them and they're worth three cents each, I'm really not interested in wasting my time with that. But if you look at these two by two, the white ones, there are a whole bunch of them, maybe... I don't know, I'm guesstimating you're 30 or 40 of them. So it becomes a little more interesting. And the green ones, I have a green, uh, a tote for green uh, pieces for my Jurassic Park mock, which I need a plenty of green parts. So those are just going to go in there. I'm going to use some of these. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm going to end up putting these in my store. There's probably, I'd say, 10 to 15 kinds of uh, parts. So, it, it shouldn't take too long. Alright, uh, it took me a couple of days, but I finally finished inputting everything into my store. And now we have an idea of how much uh, all of this is worth. So I said I paid $1.90 with shipping. That was my total cost. Uh, and I have the breakdown here of how I got $408.59. And this is including, not excluding the green pieces because I just want to use them for my mock so it's a $218 profit of course if you consider the PayPal fees and um, additional uh, you know bricklink fees and so on the profit margin is gonna get cut over there but the profit margin is 2.15 well it's 2.15 times of the value if we're gonna talk Lego talk, um, that's how usually Lego sellers refer to this. Has to be at least three times. But honestly, I don't. I like a Pops Block Shops uh, approach for minifigure torsos and a, um, yeah, I mean minifigure parts or accessories. He's not too picky with the profit margin because people are interested in these things more. So it's kind of like. It's going to draw people to your store. So do you, are you okay with less of a profit margin, but more customers that are going to end up spending on other items that have a better profit margin? You know, so it's uh, it's working for Pops Block Shop, and I've been starting to apply this as well. And uh, I honestly, I don't. I think it's a, it's still a good margin if you're going to talk return on investment. It's still a hundred fifteen percent return on investment. So. I'm, I'm good with that. All right, uh, let's break this down with the torsos. Uh, torsos per unit came down to around, I'd say 75, 70, I have it written down over here, 74 cents per unit for the torso. Total value was $86.58. The legs, uh, total value for the legs was $85.52. But before I get to the legs, for the torso, the Legoland ones were amongst the more valuable uh, ones. And this dark blue uh, officer suit, I don't know what it's called, this one right here with the tie. Uh, it's worth, uh, I want to say a couple of dollars. I can't remember exactly, but it had uh, it held more value than most of the other torsos. Uh, yeah, and for the legs, there are a lot of plain legs, but uh, they still hold good value. Per leg, it's about 74 cents per unit. But for the legs and torso, I don't go with the average price. I do increase my price by uh, 30%. All right. Uh, as far as the heads, the heads held less value. It was 80 cents per unit. Uh, $64.41 uh, total right here. And this was a bit of a pain for me because I'm not used to using figure it out 
and I'm not too familiar with uh, minifigures. But this took quite a chunk of time, more than anything else I'd say for me. Uh, but if you have a whole bunch of uh, the same ones, it cuts your time dramatically. So that's for the heads. Uh, then for the headgear, I was really surprised with the value on this. It was about a dollar per unit for the headgear. There's some good stuff here. Actually, this one right here, which is a Ninjago uh, headgear, is about seven dollars. So some of these hold really, really good value. Uh, and then uh, the accessories were the least valuable ones, sixty-three cents per unit, a total of fifty-two dollars and seventy-six cents. And uh, I want to say these bears were about a dollar each. And then you got some hockey sticks. Yeah. Question is, oh, actually, oh, these capes. These capes were quite a good addition. About four and a half dollars, I want to say. Four to four and a half dollars each. Excellent to have new capes. Um, that's a great addition for sure. And this is just a minifigure that my daughter came up with. Uh, we had agreed that she would build one. There's this man with a blonde woman's wig or his hair, I don't know, with a cape and a woman's uh, torso and a telephone. She was having good fun with it. I was kind of bummed, like, ah, oh, don't take the cape. I would love to keep the cape, but well, that's what we agreed upon, and that's what she built. And that is Isla's minifigure. And for uh, these, I decided to actually add these as well uh, because of the quantity. Uh, you know, if I only had, like I mentioned before, if only had two of each, I wouldn't be bothered. But since, uh, you know, you had 40, 50, I had about 107 of these. Uh, this added about $30. Actually, I have the exact number right here. It added... Let's see, Lego pieces, $35.49. Yeah, uh, that pretty much summarizes my Legoland California purchase. Um, will I do it again? Not anytime soon. It was a bit time consuming. It, it was a bit more time consuming for me than I would like. I mean, I don't mind doing it sometimes, but. Uh, it doesn't compare to parting out actual new Lego sets. Alright guys, this is Sean with CK Brick Collection. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe. And see you next time.